What is good guys? Today I have something a little bit different for you, but only because you guys have all been asking for it. I've seen heaps of comments in the comment section as well in the suggestions chat on Discord that you guys want to see a more in-depth tour of a Japanese convenience store. So I'm with May right now and uh, we're actually at the front of a 7-Eleven. Now 7-Eleven is the biggest convenience store chain in Japan, is that right? Yeah. And uh, in Tokyo, there is a convenience store within every 500 meters, if not less. Is that right? Yes. I was <laughs> searching how many 7-Elevens there are in Japan. Yeah, so May's gonna Google that number real quick, but 7-Eleven is definitely the biggest convenience store chain here. It's also known as the best convenience store for food, like, you know, pastas and just all those bento boxes and things that you can heat up in the microwave or make a meal or buy a meal here. It's They've got the best food, as well as just a bunch of other cool things. So I figured let's do a tour of 7-Eleven, one of the biggest, well, the biggest convenience store chain here in Japan. And uh, let's show you some of our favorite snacks as well and get those and kind of do a review on them as well and tell you about it. I think it's just gonna be a really cool kind of quirky Japan kind of video. You got that number yet, babe? How many 7-Elevens are in Japan? I'm on Wikipedia. A lot, let's just go with a lot. Anyways, let's jump into the video. Alrighty, so let's head inside. It might be a bit interesting because it looks like the delivery truck's here, so hopefully it's not too crowded, but uh, let's go. So normally in convenience stores here, this is actually mainly the first thing that you're gonna see, which is like their vitamin section. You can actually get like a hangover kind of recovery potion thing here too. So if you ever hung over in Japan, you can try a lot of these. But the main thing is, is if you're sick, you want one of these things or one of these C1000, 1000 lemons. These are really good. It kind of tastes like lemon sherbet, but it's actually just like a vitamin C energy drink. Is there, a, where's the hangover proof one, babe? Or is it one of these self, what's this one? Self-medication. What do you call it? Hangover proof. Oh, there it is. This thing here, if you take that, okay. it'll make your uh, hangover disappear. So you want like six of these right now, babe? Hey. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, uh, al alcohol? Alcohol, yeah. Let's um, let's actually explain this. Can you get the black ones here right now? Or only normal ones in convenience stores, right? You have to buy those from like Harajuku, hey. Yeah, so obviously you can buy masks in Japan. Um, now, from what I understand, may, maybe you can confirm this, is that people wear this when they're sick or if they don't want to get sick because lots of other people are sick. Or Poland. Or Poland, yeah, you're right. Like Kahunsho, which is like hay fever season here in Japan. You can obviously get your tissues and other things like band-aids and those things, which I won't say because YouTube algorithm will hurt me. Um, but yeah, like you can pretty much live out of convenience store. Is that right, babe? Do you reckon you could seriously live out of this? Yeah, like you can get stockings, um, female stuff, lots of stuff. Toilet paper you can get. Like hand, like what are these called? Wipes and stuff for the kitchens, tissues. You can get all your stationery stuff. It's literally a convenience store, like that's not a joke. Nine volt batteries, I mean, that's pretty. You can even get gardening gloves here. Are you for real? It's what would you need gardening. gardening gloves? I think it's for the construction guys. Construction guys, it's like the special rubber stuff. Yeah. There you go. I'd actually, I use those all the time at like Okajuku on drift events when I'm changing tires so I don't get my hands filthy dirty and then put those on, the, on my new racing gloves. Yeah, but you can also get, if you're stuck in Japan, you can get like phone chargers that just take normal AA batteries with a USB port. So you can just keep buying batteries and recharge your phone. You can even do the wireless charging pads, torches, all the accessories you need to charge your devices. There's a lot of stuff you can get here. And then I think, yeah, we looked at the stockings and all the sweat towels and stuff, lipstick stuff, all the normal magazines. You can also find some car related ones, drivers here. Um, obviously all your manga ones are here too. Oh yeah. No, yeah, I don't see any other car magazines. They get taken up pretty quick. They don't normally get many of them. You gotta go to like those specific ones, but lots of manga and anime. Are you into K-pop, babe? I just saw that and thought, no, oh no, that's, that's, Johnny's. they're the Johnnies. That's a boy band over here. Anyways, back to the convenience store tour. You can get your hair gels, waxes, all of that stuff here. Um, deodorants, shaving stuff. Oh, they don't have Tide Pods. I was so hungry, damn it. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, shampoo, all your kitchen stuff, like dishwashing detergent. You can get your aluminium foil, your cling wrap, all that type of stuff here, Ziploc bags. 
if you're having a party with all your friends and you're getting it on. You get cat food. Yeah, you can even get pet food down there. So you got your cups, Oven, plates, all of that stuff. Cat sand. Oh, you can get kitty litter here? Yeah. That's really good if you have an oil spill. Um, moving on. Wait, hang on. Is this cat food? Yeah, that's cat. Oh, okay. That looks too good to be cat food. I have told you. you should have actually just told you. That doesn't look like cat food. That looks so good. That looks like something that's supposed to be in this aisle. Like literally, May. Look, this is this is edible food, right? This isn't cat food, right? Look at that. And look at that. No, it's the same company that makes it. The same company makes it. Yeah. Okay, that's not helping. <laughs> of course. <laughs> that's funny. Um, so yeah, if you want to do some cooking at home and heat up some of these things, you can you know get some rice that you heat up in the microwave. You get curry packs where you add your own vegetables, make your own curry. As well as these ones, you can just heat up in the uh, microwave or in like a boiling pot. And it comes with like vegetables already in it and you can just pour it next to rice. So super easy. Yeah. But yeah. Rice. Yeah, the rice that you can just put in the microwave and have a full tub of rice that then you can put with one of these. So you can make a meal with rice and curry. Rice was 150 yen after tax, 170 yen after tax. So you're looking at, what's that? 250, 300 and like 20 yen and you got yourself a meal. Obviously they sell booze, so you can get lots. They've generally got a pretty big choice of wines and sake and stuff. This is also what I was talking about when I said that the 7-Eleven truck was here. Um, so yeah, you can get, get a lot of stuff here, alcohol. These one cup things, they're like, you can get them for like 150 yen and that's like straight rice wine. I've seen a lot of foreign, even the little like poppers of them. I've seen a lot of foreigners try those and it's really funny to see their expressions. So it's a good joke. <laughs> a lot of old or bachans and oji chans drink that actually. Okay, so we're in the instant ramen section now and anything you buy here, you can put hot water in and walk out and eat it. They provide everything generally up the front, chopsticks, the hot water machine and everything for you to get one. Um, yeah, everything is kind of like if you don't read any Japanese use a Google Translate app with the camera and everything but pretty much you can go buy pictures and figure out safe stuff you got your soups over here miso soups and things like that but the main stuff you probably want to stick with is like these are pretty general the Nissin brand ones um, the curry is really good if you've never tried that the chili tomato is really good seafood if you like seafood just the generic cup noodle one ramen then you've got the 7-eleven branded ones my favorite's probably just the standard red one um, which is if may could you read that for me it's not the standard one what it's not no what is it this is the chinese soup the chinese soup one oh that's the standard one yeah you. i eat that as well Damn it, they're both red, so I've probably been eating both and thinking that they taste great. <laughs> Which one's this? That's just like show you. So the soy sauce based. Oh, there you go. And then uh, the brown one here is really good. I've eaten all of these, but I have no idea what they are. That's uh, the sad thing. I need to learn my kanjis better. But that's pretty much it. You like pretty much all ramen's good. Just maybe steer clear of ones that look like this because that's very hot and spicy. Or you can break your friends and say it's really mild, but that's also a bit of fun. But yeah, pretty much instant ramen is pretty safe. Just look at the picture and you can go from there. Um, and then over here, some more pre-cooked like kind of stuff you can make at home. You get mabu tofu packs, kind of, what's that? Like fried rice, I guess, or fried rice there at least. And a whole bunch of other little things that I've never really ever bought from a convenience store, but you can get all your curry packs here. So if you want to make curry from scratch, if I can get this out, you this is like just the curry in like little blocks and once you've got your vegetables and everything boiling you just drop the little blocks and you get traditional japanese curry and then you've got all your cooking supplies and spices and things like that is that wasabi mm. there you go you get wasabi you can get everything here like seriously all like the the stuff for making miso soup the miso itself all the different like japanese oh dude is that that chili kind of oil that's yeah, good stuff you put that in like your ramen and stuff and it makes it spicy and amazing. But yeah, pretty much all the cool stuff here, I'll show you soy sauce, things like that. And then it just kind of continues. You can get your coffees, your green teas, your coffee packs, 
um, all the iced tea kits and stuff here. You can even get jams and stuff for like toast, honey, um, soy joys for all the soy boys out there. And uh, then the chip section. So 7-Eleven has their own branded brand of chips. Don't think that this is like, you know, some onion flavored chips. It's actually seaweed and salt potato chips. Oh isn't, that, isn't that like the, the most famous kind of chips that Japanese people eat here? It's like seaweed and salt, right? So if you want to go for something, go for like the ones that look plain. Only recently 7-Eleven started adding English actually to their like branded stuff. So you should be good. These are really good too. Um, but you can definitely find some cool Japanese ones. Uh, this is something I haven't tried yet, but I'm going to try today. This is Mabu Dofu flavored chips. Uh, Mabu Dofu is like one of my favorite meals. Oh, May's already got one, so we'll put that back. Um, but a really safe chip to go for if you're just looking for a normal potato chip is just these Kalbi ones. They're really good. And then you can kind of play around with everything. You can even just get popcorn here. It's kind of funny. Caramel hey, caramel popcorn. That's awesome. You've got lots of cool stuff. Okay, so it's kind of time for my favorite section of a convenience store. And that is the pun section. Pun means like bread in Japan, right? And it could be sweet or savory. Pun is Portuguese. Portuguese, really? There you go. I had no idea. So Japanese language stole that, I guess. So you can get a bunch of really cool things. You guys have probably seen this in a lot of anime, which is a yakisoba bun. Which is like a hot dog bun with yakisoba in the middle. Um, safe things that you guys can get. Seven land branded hotcakes, like pancakes. These are just two pancakes with butter and maple syrup. These are really good. It's just like a chocolate cream kind of bun. These are good. It's got custard and raisins in it. Uh, these are amazing. This is like a bee sting. If you know what a bee sting is in Australia, this is what that is, but in Japan. It's pretty much just cream and custard. And pretty much everything here is safe to eat. You can obviously get normal bread as well for toast in your hotel room if you're into that. You can get your cereal here. I know Adam LZ knows what this is about. Get any cereal from 7-Eleven. Um, and then you can also get pancake mix and stuff like that. And literally in the soup section, you can, you can get proper soup. Actually, you want the pancake mix? All right, we're making pancakes tomorrow morning. Yeah, I am. Okay, it's my turn to cook breakfast. Yep, I agree. Uh, and the bread just kind of continues, a bunch of other little things. You can also buy, they're out of them right now, but you can get like bread rolls with um, strawberry jam and unco red bean and stuff like that, which is another thing. Kind of looks like this, um, but it has like peanut butter in them. And you can get these as well, which is like, it's for kids really, because it's, it's bread, sliced bread with the crust cut off and it's full of peanut butter. Really good. All right, so another favorite part of the convenience stores in Japan is obviously the drink section. Uh, you can get all the canned coffees here and stuff. And if you haven't seen my coffee review video, I recommend the Boss Rainbow Blend. It's probably the most popular one that a lot of people try and foreigners like. But obviously this is a cold section, so you can still get all of this canned coffee up the front in the hot fridge. Uh, well, hot thing, I don't know. You know what I'm saying. Um, anyways, you got your teas and everything here soft drinks and stuff if you are looking for something unique look always look out for the lifeguard branded um, soda it's like royal jelly flavored it's amazing and they're also a sponsor for like a lot of low-key grassroot drift events here chilled wines and sakes and things like that your strong zeros and if you don't know anything about strong zeros it's it's dangerous um, especially if you've got a drinking issue and you're from Australia because yeah strong zeros they're pretty much nine percenters and they're only two dollars and yeah, it's, it's nuts. But drinking culture in Japan is very different to Western culture. Everyone drinks in Japan as like a way of saying, Otsukare, good job. You did a hard job today, like at work and things like that. So people don't get super rowdy when they're drunk here like they do in Western culture and like jump on cars and throw things through windows and stuff. You know what I mean? And then moving over here, what have you got there, mate? Is it a meat stick? Yes. It's, it's a very... Stick. Oh, it's a salami meat stick. Okay. Cool. Oh, this one's like a kind of regular meat stick mm, cool yeah that's good and then uh you got the other meat sorry like these are what is this stuff i've always wondered i've actually squid it's squid like dried strung out squid yeah there you, you go dry? no i don't i'm scared <laughs> i've had the cheese before i've had like all the dried out fish all the nuts and things these are like things that accompany beer right everyone eats this when they're drinking beer right yeah yeah so like cheese crackers and stuff like that down there. Beef jerky. Beef jerky, you can get all that kind of stuff, yeah. Definitely really cool. Okay, so the freezer section in the convenience store, you can buy boxes of multiple ice creams and frozen fruits and stuff. Um, I think these are mainly used for like smoothies and things because they come with like vegetables as well. Um, but 
they also come with like frozen drinks here like frozen tea frozen green tea and stuff like that which is i guess used by like tradesmen and kids and stuff like that when they want that during the summer to just really cool down you can also get like your frozen aquarius which is like frozen powerade japanese brand stuff and then bags of ice kind of standard then moving into like other sections where like another chilled section which is kind of like your deli i guess you've got like chilled um like juice boxes and other vegetable juice boxes these are like the things like yogurt drinks for helping out your um intestines and stuff like that <laughs> i don't know because it was awkward um you've got actually starbucks branded lattes strawberry lattes and things like that these are actually really good i recommend them and then you got a bunch of other things here juices and things like that kind of all the standard stuff you can buy straight coffee like this like isn't that crazy no, but the ones from the machines. Yeah, the ones from the machines are better. You got milk and stuff like that as well. By the way, mate, which one of these is the... This is the yogurt, right? No. No. Is there a yogurt one here? Yes. Lychee water? Okay, that's new. Where's the yogurt one? That one. Okay, guys. <laughs> At least they have low-fat milk on English there, but the normal milk doesn't have any English. And this... Dairy milk. Okay, it says dairy milk there. Yeah, okay. Yep, they added it now. It never used to. But if you don't look for the small writing, look how similar the bottles are. It's just a dark blue and a lighter blue. I've bought this before, thought it was milk, poured it in my coffee, and got so shocked I spat it out so quick. But yeah, so just be very careful. Look for the small writing down there that says dairy milk compared to yogurt drink. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, you can also get fresh salmon and fish and things like that butter cheese and then over here you can get chickens and salads and stuff you can actually just get breast chicken that's like flavored with herbs and things it's pre-cooked so it's just cold chicken you can take that and eat that so if you're a bodybuilder kind of gym guy that's what all the guys do here same with the salmon um, and yeah you can also get like little frank little sausages and stuff you can get your bacon tofu so if you want to do a tofu challenge with your friends, pull the lid off that, put it in your car and see how fast you can go up the mountain without spilling any. You can also get natto, which is like fermented beans and you put it on your rice. It's a delicacy. I recommend all of you try this when you come to Japan. It's like the Vegemite of Japan, really. It's the specialty here. You can get fresh fruits, you can get sour plums. There's so many things here that we could go through. This video is going to be hella long. But yeah, you can get fresh fruit, bananas. Um, let's try and fly through this section. You can get your fish and stuff for breakfast. All your pre like pre cooked meals here that you can get your pasta salads and stuff. Eggs, and these are all the like the meals that you can buy here and heat up at the convenience store. Now it's late at night, so we're missing a lot. But you can get all your pastas here. You this can get the fish, fish eggs. I fish about. eggs pasta. So yeah. Make sure you don't take that. Yeah, don't take that one. It it's got here. fish, spicy, spicy cod, cod roe, which is pretty much. Yeah, fish eggs. Um, you can get like pastas and stuff like that. I love that they've added English to everything now. That's so good. Good on your 7-Eleven. You get potato bake stuff down here as well. All your pasta bakes. Your salads. Salads here are actually really good. Um, this one here is like a, a cold ramen noodle kind of thing. It's really good. You throw in everything and it just tastes amazing. Salads, once again, you can get some really quirky things. Are you going to eat that? All right, there you go. May's getting dinner here. You can get pre-boiled eggs here too. So yeah, a lot of cool stuff. Sandwiches, everyone here who's probably drifted at um, Ebisu, they just probably live off of these. And then yeah, once again, more salad stuff. You, like I said, you can get some really good like chicken-based salads and stuff here with like the noodle crunch ones and all your beef bowls and stuff. These are really good. Pretty much just safe to go through any of these. Then you get more into the bento style stuff. You can get your sushis, all of your different types of onigiri. Like there's so many different things and they actually put English on them now too. So tuna mayo is the safest one I'd recommend. And then yeah, like all your bento boxes, all of these are pretty well safe. They're all like pre-cooked that they then heat up in the microwave here for you. Then you've got like the hot box section where you can get some burgers. These, I don't know if they're the greatest idea. Like it's a chicken burger, it looks a bit sus. Same with the hot dog, but you know. You've got things like hot pocket, pizza pocket things. You can also get, uh, there's sometimes like a tacos one, which is like a little burrito. You get tuna salad sandwich, ham and salad. And then this is the hot box, right? So you get your hot can coffee. So we're definitely grabbing one of these for the road. 
hot green tea and stuff like that. In the freezer section, again, you've got all your different frozen meals that you can take home and eat. Um, and then we'll move straight into the ice cream. You've got all the different ice cream here. It's a bit difficult to try and go through everything because like every few weeks they cycle through and change everything. Um, but Japanese ice cream is pretty decent. The only thing is don't think this is strawberry. I had this when I first came to Japan. It's red bean. It's not strawberry. Everything on here looks like it's strawberry, but it's not, trust me. And then let's get over to the chocolates and like kind of candy stuff. These are probably my favorite snack here, the chocolate almonds. They're really, really good and they come in different variants. So definitely try them all out. What's your favorite like candy snack here? Yeah, like candy, anything, like anything in this aisle, babe, like even the candy up there, high chew or something. You like this? What is it? It's like a strawberry chocolate, chocolate thing. Okay, that looks really good. All right, cool. And then, it's not in this convenience store, that's fair enough. And once again, you kind of see that 7-Eleven's got all their own branded stuff here again. There's, it really is good. Like 7-Eleven is probably the most like... Uh, I don't know like convenience store that makes their own stuff. I think I don't really see like many other convenience store making their own branded snacks and stuff Hey, you got your Dars chocolate stuff here, and then let's just move straight into the candy Probably the number one thing you guys want to try here is high chew. This stuff is the best Literally make sure you buy every packet you can of that of different flavors and try it out You've got all your different gums and things like that here all your different types of Japanese hard candy This is really good. It's just pineapple candy, but it's really good and uh, yeah, I think that kind of sums it up. Like all these little things here, like little gummy things where it's like just gummy, but it's like, tastes like grape, orange gummies, all these pure brand ones, all gummies. They're like small, tiny packets. They cost like a dollar, but they don't last long. So yeah. Then you got your lozenges, hulls. You guys should know that from the States, but uh, a lot of you guys that will be getting sick, drifting in cold weather, those are your best friend. I think that kind of sums it up. I think we've covered like everything here. Have we missed anything? The coffee. Ah, the coffee machine too. True. Do they have the ice cups here? No, they don't. Ah, here they are. So in Japan, you can buy these cups of ice, right? And you can get iced cafe lattes. So you buy this and then what you do is, we're gonna actually get one. Do so you buy that? and then you end up putting it in the machine and you push the ice cafe latte button and it'll give you an ice cafe latte. It's not Starbucks like quality, but it's still it's good. The same beans yeah. Uh, probably the only other thing we've missed is all of this food here. They haven't added English to all this stuff, but this stuff's generally pretty safe. You can get like the spicy chicken stuff here, the big sausages on a stick, the American dogs chicken karage on a stick this stuff's all pretty good same with this stuff like they actually cycle through this very quickly so it's generally pretty safe to eat so i really recommend all of that all right so i got my cafe latte which i'm way too keen to down because these things are delicious um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the tour of 7-eleven may and i we're gonna head home now and then we're gonna try those snacks and uh, we'll pick it up from there okay so let's dig into these snacks the one that i wanted to try first i've never tried this actually and it's made by the really good brand of chips that I recommended, the Kelby ones. Let's give it a quick go. I'm always scared when I open a chip packet like that, that's gonna explode. It doesn't really smell like marble dog food to you. Oh, uh, a little bit maybe. Let's see. It says it's hot. It's spicy. These are amazing, oh my gosh. Wow, and they do have a big kick. That's spicy. And it does taste like marble dough food. Okay. So if you like marble dough food, yeah. If you like marble dough food, get yourself this. This is amazing. All right. We're going to try and power through these. Um, what else do we have? What is this? Corn. Corn. This is corn chips. Chips that taste like corn. Oops, that's kind of what I expected. That's what I was worried about. All right, so this is like a, a wafery kind of type of, I don't really know how to explain it, but it tastes like corn on the cob. Mm. Just imagine like corn on the cob or creamed corn, 
but it's like a wheaty kind of wafer thing. It's amazing. It really is. So, definitely try these out if you're in Japan. Next. Pizza bucket. Pizza potato chips. Made by the same brand, Calbee, a good chip brand. Let's rip into it. I did it slowly that time. And as you can see, they kind of have like cheese kind of on them too. So yeah, it kind of tastes like pizza to me. What you do you think? You don't like them, do you? Mm, I like I'm not them. a huge fan of these. But each their own. It reminds me of the chips I used to in Mexico. Mm. And I'll put like wet chili all over. Okay. I've never had that. I never lived in Mexico, so. But May has told me about the little Dorito bags with the chili and the sour cream and stuff in them. I definitely want to try that with tomato and stuff. Sounds good. And you like these too, hey? Yeah, those are good. So it's like a strawberry chocolate. You haven't had it? Not that before? Cool? I don't think so. Okay. Well, enjoy. They're all melted. Oh no! They're all melted. Because of your freaking coffee! Oh, because of the hot coffee they put in the same bag. Okay, so it looks like enjoy it's... Enjoy the smell. They're all melted, but... It looks like a weird cylinder with strawberry covering. It smells like strawberry. It's weird. I don't, I don't hate it. Oh wow, it's like chocolate crunchy on the inside. Like a Malteser. With a strawberry outside coating. So it kind of just tastes like a, honestly, no, no, no. It's more like an Oreo on the inside. So it's like a strawberry Oreo. It's good. I'm not hating on it. You don't look impressed. No, I'm not impressed, but I don't know. I definitely couldn't eat a whole packet of that. Really? Yeah. Oh, damn it. All right, there you go. Well, that kind of sums it all up. The only thing left for me to do, I realized that I bought two coffees there. So, May got the ice latte, and I'm having this bad boy right now. And uh, I think this is the perfect way to end out the video. So, guys, thanks heaps for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell me in the comment section what other videos like this you want to see. I'm probably going to try and do one of these kind of like Japan quirky videos where we give you tours of weird places and things here in Japan that you guys want to see at least minimum once a month. Um, but we could also try once a week. Tell me what you think. Uh, also depends on how the algorithm likes my non-car content today. <laughs> That'll be interesting. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Oh yeah. じゃあまたね。